Hello everyone, this is Big Benedict. We're playing uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow on the the hardest difficulty, which is Prince of Darkness difficulty. And we're on part 8, so I'm just smashing away here at everything. And I can't remember exactly what this is going to entail. I think a fight pretty soon and some exceptionally long loading times over here. Sometimes I, I just am stupefied how how much this game needs to load but we'll see I think yeah it's just gonna rotate or, or descend and then it's gonna the door that we came in through is gonna open up and we're just gonna go backtracking it's really easy to get lost in this game because it's a big game it's a big open world game and also uh, the glaring reason is that the waypoint is very poor I don't like open world games as I've expressed before but I still play them occasionally, like the like the ones that are uh, like Batman, for instance. And that waypoint is very good in that game. I seldom have any any trouble distinguishing where I'm supposed to go. And I thought it would be the same here, but the waypoint is just trash. And I want to apologize in the fir in the very first video if I came off as harsh, but it, this is just a personal game to me because. Lords of Shadow got me back into gaming. If it wasn't for that game, I wouldn't have played all the games that I played after that, such as God of War and Ninja Gaiden, and a lot of the other really challenging games that ushered me into this genre, and, you know, instead of shaking my hand, just kicked my ass, and then they shook my hand once I once I cleared the difficulty, you know, uh, gave me a little pat on the back for reassurance, but, but they, were, they were there kicking my ass, and it's it's just it's a very meaningful game to me and I don't really care if people don't like the game or if they're if the reviews they write are just going to be a lot of negativity because I mean certainly this game should the problems that exist in this game they should be brought to light so that they can be patched but I don't think they're going to be patched because it's just not likely I don't I just don't see them patching this game I actually did find David uh, Dave Cox's Twitter, and I sent a message on there. But with the high, with those high-profile people on Twitter, even though he doesn't have a little verification check mark by his name, so I don't think he is as high up as some of the other people, like you know Cliff, Cliffy B or whatever. But um, and that that you know the people that were saying negative things about this game, um, you know, it, it's not that I don't. I you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just decide that I hate people because they're saying negative things about this game. It's just that I I, I just found it very very disconcerting when I was trying to enjoy this game and it's hard to stay off the internet, especially when a new game comes out because you want to do research and, and and things like that. So I tried to cut off all my exposure to this game, but it's still tough because I. You know, it's hard not to, to look and, and peek and talk, uh, you know, talk with people. But if I'm defensive, if I was defensive in the first video, it's only because I really, I truly care about this franchise. And um, I don't know how long this guide is going to take to make. Pro normally my, um, what what do they call that? Like the the end rate or something like that, the drop time or something. Somebody said that to me one time, and I can't remember what it was. The turnaround time, that's what it was. Turnaround time. The turnaround time, normally for my guides, is about three weeks. Even though I did... <laughs> I did Devil May Cry 1. When I did the the, the second run of that game, I, I published all the videos in three days. But I was just going crazy. See, that fucker kicked that guy like a football at me. I think these are armored goblins, even if that's not their name. But you cannot hit these guys unless they run into the wall or exhaust themselves and have to catch their breath. So anyway, yeah, so that's that's where I'm at with this. And it might take a little bit longer because I'm in the process of actually caring for someone who's had surgery. I thought this process, I, th I mean, I thought the surgery would be a little while before it actually happened, but it got postponed, so, uh, so there's that. And I just, I've been upset lately because without going into too much, it's just that when I at the hospital we just weren't given 
my family member I don't believe was given the best treatment in the world and it's it always pisses me off when one of my family members isn't given you know good treatment you know let alone my friends but like my family members you, you just don't fuck around people's family and but anyway that's where I'm coming from with that so and I've been trying to play I've been playing the, playing this guy this game obsessively um, just because it's obsessive to me it's compulsive game playing because it's really great and also because I wanted to finish before I had to fully exert my responsibilities um, caring for in in this case my father so so that's where my head's been at and now we're going to be moving on to the next section here uh, don't go to the you see I was going all over the map I was going all over the place not knowing where to, where to go on my first playthrough and I was about to just put my fist through the television but how are you supposed to know you can jump on that chain I mean Pete you know I'm asking that as a as a real question it's not even rhetorical how are you fucking supposed to know that you can go on that chain there because up till now they've put the bats on all the platform holds so what I had to do was I had to go look on a playthrough to see where the hell I'm supposed to go because when I'm playing a um a, an open world game like this it's not worth it for me to get upset because I, I my blood pressure gets my blood my blood pressure raises and I just get completely pissed because I, I I need to know where I'm going all the time. That's why I like linear games like God of War, where you can't get lost. That's just my personality. So anyway, we're skipped. Okay, this is called the Three Gorgons, and you might notice in some of the videos that there will be like it'll say like biocumeric industry or the three gorgons and it'll have like a number after it. it I'm not dividing these up into parts it's just that sometimes we'll be going back and forth you know like we might be at the biocumeric industry in video 3 and then we might not return to it until video 6 so I'm just trying to keep the playlist in order but I'm also trying to reference each time that we're there with a number so you'll see like the three gorgons you know if there are any if there are any interludes in between any chapters I'll just mark it with a number at the end so you know that it's a continuation of it um, and I currently don't have enough character space to put like one of uh, you know X of Y because first of all I don't know how many parts there will be and second of all, I d I'm running out of characters in the in these in these titles because it's a long name for a game, and also it's a long name for the difficulty. So I have to really conserve my characters. And uh, somebody actually was pointing out, and his name's Hazardous Echo. He's a great he's a great subscriber because he watches whatever I produce, and it, it, it doesn't like he doesn't even have to really like the game. I, I mean, I don't know if he does, but he was pointing out that um, is it worth it to do this to bite them? I mean, look, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But look right there, that that's a pretty good amount of, of health to get back from um, doing the grab attack. And I really don't expect anything of my subscribers, you know. And tra transversely, I don't need any expectations on my own head either. I just publish guides at my leisure. But look at this, you guys. The Chupacabra is back. I vowed that if, the, if this guy was in this game again, I would be really pissed. But this time, he's not a troublemaker. So the fact that he's not being a jackass in this game and causing a bunch of fucking mischief... Yeah, oh yeah, uh, there's no railing on these platforms, so you could fall off. Not only these, but when you're in arenas, enemies will hit you off, or you'll fall off um, platform arena platforms because there's no invisible railing. And the ironic thing is, the enemies have invisible railing for themselves, so it, it's bizarre. You know, the game will, will give them invisible railing so they don't fall off, but they don't give you that same consideration. And, you know, and how is that even possible? that they get the railing and we don't like how is that possible in the scripting I have no idea but you will know that you have completed these sections com uh, proficiently and 
and, and, and well when it pans down and you can move on, that means you've done it correctly. There is a pain box in the distance uh, in that area over there where the flame is, but I've already picked it up. Uh, so now from this point you need to go over to the right and hit the, the I think it's some kind of a release so the guy can come down and then we'll need to cut the seal that's binding him. Now about the the chupacabras' his voice, I think he's he's not he's not offensive or annoying or anything like that. He's kind of passive. I would have been really disappointed if they had gone the route of making him like a like the kind of personality personality that the that creature from um, the Hobbit, that guy, not in the in the movies. What's his name? I don't know what his name is, but he's a very kind of annoying, precious, the guy with the precious, uh, I don't know, but at least this guy, he's like a tame kind of English voice, and it, it works for me because it's not annoying, but at the same time, I'm kind of wondering, how did he mature so quickly, you know, did he just, re did he just get reformed in that prison he's in, I don't know, but what he's going to do is set up a shop for us, and once we get the Kleidos, or the Kleidos, however you want to pronounce it, we'll be able to, um, that, oh, I'm sorry, that's the end of the video, you guys, um, I'm gonna have to leave a, bla a black screen at the end of the video, so, I talked way over that limit, but I'm gonna see you guys in the next video, and I will resume talking about the Chupacabras.